Welcome back and a happy Noel to you all. It being the season of uh, caring and giving and all that fun stuff. Happy Hanukkah. Crazy Kwanzaa. And solemn Ramadan. And all the others. Insert example here. What have you. Shout out to all the rest that didn't get an honorable mention. <laughs> I'm Jake. Uh, I'm Leon. <laughs> I'm Robert. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. I'm Scott. And today we're going to be doing everybody's favorite, Constantine. This arguably is one of the best movies. Arguably one of the best movies about Constantine? Yeah. I would say, arguably. 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 There were some, already some things that raised some flags with me. The uh, company, it's called Vertigo... DC Comics, that's like the production company, but I was like, wait a minute, doesn't DC stand for Detective Comics? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's Vertigo, Detective Comics, Comics, because it's DC Comics? Yeah, it's kind of like how people say pin number. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, I take it all back. <laughs> I take it all back. Continuing our drunken day of Christmas debauchery, we're moving into our third or fourth movie for the day, I forget at this point, Constantine. This is the fourth. On our 96.7 degrees to Kevin Bacon. 96.7? I forgot how many we were doing. For, give me a second. Um, this is our next one, Constantine, some numbered movie on and that list. How did this one tie into it? Um, it has somebody from the last movie we watched in it. Oh, that makes sense. And so along that lines, uh, I guess I'll, I'll get, I'll get y'all sunk up and then we'll dive right in. And I believe this has, uh, Digimon Hansu in it. Digimon Hansu's in it. Um, uh, who plays, who plays the devil in this one? Oh, fuck. That, that Russian guy from, uh, Peter Stormare. Peter Stormare, everybody loves so yeah. much. Yeah. It's probably why we're watching it. Could be. Everybody loves the portrayal of Michael the Angel in Gabriel. this one. Gabriel, whatever. Some stupid angel. There's a man named Jose Zaniga in Con Air, and that's why we're watching Constantine. Okay, so it goes. <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> Vin Rains or, or Keanu Reeves or, <laughs> or Digimon. Or Digiman Hansu. <laughs> Other ones. I try to get new characters. We go then Peter Stormare to Hansel and Gretel. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I'm not going to question the logic. It's just worth commenting, I felt. Yeah. All right. So to sync this copy, this movie, this audio track to your copy of Constantine, the 2005 joint, you will pause this audio track when prompted. Then you'll play your copy of Constantine when all of the logos fade, last of which will be the Vertigo DC Comics logo, at the 29 second mark when it fades completely to black. You will unpause this audio track, and you'll be all ready to go. So you will pause this audio track when prompted, play your copy of Constantine at the 29 second mark when the Vertigo DC Comics logo fades completely to black, restart this audio track, and you'll be all uh, sanctified up. So go ahead and pause this audio track in three, two, one. Pause. We're back! And we're back. He who possesses the spirit of destiny holds the fate of the world in his hands. Your timing was so far off on that. Spirit of destiny has been missing since the end of World War II. That doesn't seem right. Have they had it this whole time? Yeah. You could have just, oh, this is the spirit that killed Christ? Like, just walk into the fucking... What does yeah. this blood taste? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> I hope this doesn't awaken anything in me. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how uh, Morbius is created. Morbius. You're talking about the vampire character? Yeah. From... Okay. Yeah. Morbius. If I remember my... my Licks the Spear of Destiny. Superhero. I want to say we did that movie. Uh, right? The Morbius movie? It's uh, got it's got Doctor Who in it. And uh, everybody's favorite Leto. He has an attractive man. He's the only Leto. 
the uh, part of the trivia for this movie is just a flat out explanation of what a crucifixion is. <laughs> it's a crucifixion is a barbaric torture where a person's arms and legs are stretch out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just in the trivia. Right. Fun fact. Yeah. What was he doing to begin with? I have to go to the bathroom. Wow. Well, that was surprising. I have seen this movie, but it's been years? 2005? I like can tell the person wasn't hitting the brake at all. <laughs> I... No, the dude was going like 70 miles per hour and all of a sudden someone just pops out of the middle of nowhere. You're better off hitting him unless the guy's got the Spear of Destiny. So the Spear of Destiny prop is is the same one used in Hellboy. Which is, is it? Which is fucking badass. Yeah. Huh. The yeah. shotgun prop was bought by Keanu and given to the director. <laughs> oh, the, his like cross shotgun? Yeah. Constantine 2 is going to be coming out next year, I believe. <laughs> Alan Moore refused all uh, credit and money for the movie and instead turned the rights over to his co-creator and made sure he got all the credit and money. All right. And, and who's he? pretty nice, even though he's not a very stable human being. But that's nice, at least. I have been there. Mom, the floor is lava. Come on. <laughs> the, the champion. Yeah. The floor is lava player. She's like, you just promised you'd quit. <laughs> this obsession of yours. I don't know why I thought he'd have a bag or something. All he needs is his cigarettes. But isn't his thing like literally is he's got a jacket that's got like 50 pockets and every fucking pocket's got something else in it? He's like Hagrid. There's weird things like he smokes exactly 13 cigarettes throughout the movie. It's like I don't even know if that's true, but that's funny. Okay, well, here there's, we go. So that one. was number two because he was smoking one when he got out of the taxi. Oh, that's right. All right, I'll start keeping track. So we're up to two. The Nazi flag used to wrap the spirit of destiny was symbolically destroyed to prevent it from falling in the hands of neo-Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Because they can't just go online and buy one. This is the flag from Constantine. We need something. See, Keanu, Keanu Reeves touched, touched it. Touched it. <laughs> it's not even true. <laughs> right. By symbolically destroyed, do you think they just like pretended to destroy it and threw it in the trash? <laughs> I think they probably It's nice they were able to tie her down. Get out of here! Come here! Come here! Come here! It's like I can't get my cat off a tree. So, <laughs> you get your fucking is this, dead daughter off a roof. Is this the name of the demon? I'm guessing it is. Because once you know the name of the demon, you're supposedly you supposedly can remove it. You smell nice. It's kind of close. What if it bit at him? Name's Johnny Utah. <laughs> right. Add this to the list of movies he plays a character named John in. <clears throat> because Cage was originally supposed to be in this, but the director said it'd be such a shit movie he didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah. Oh, the director quit, and then Nick Cage quit, and then they got a new director and actor. Okay. <laughs> and then the movie became awesome. It was rated <laughs> 7 out of 10 on IMDb. I'm not sure how I'd rate it yet. It's been a at least a couple months since I've seen it. I, yeah, since I was truly a kid. <laughs> Throw a punch! 
He's quick with that. Rapid punch. You gotta be quick at it. Oh my god, he's yelling at us. I'm in the place. Alright, so now they don't get cable. <laughs> you talking to me? Oh, I forgot this was he was in it. You not a big Shiler Booth fan? No, I don't like Booth. Honey Bear? Honey no. Honey Honey Boy? Honey Baby? Honey Bear. Right? No, I think Sugar it's Sugar Bear. No, I think it's Honey Babe. Mole Gold Crisp. He does a movie. He did. He produced and wrote and did everything for it, right? And it's about it's like a, 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 a his life as a child, and they did. He plays his dad in it, and he it's called like Honey Baby or something like that because that's what his dad used to call. Sorry. Yeah, and it's pretty fucked up, and it's like because he was like one of those Disney kids. His dad didn't want to work or whatever, so it pushed him into Hollywood, and so it was like him like. His dad basically, he didn't get to go to school or do all these things. He only got to do Hollywood stuff because his dad didn't want to work. So he used him to make money. It's, I hope his dad's still not around because that would suck. Oh, well, like I said, the movie, which was written, directed, produced, everything Shia LaBeouf, who plays the starring role, which is his father, is not a good, you know, it's not a good portrayal of his dad. What happened to that guy? His hair turned gray. Got too close. I hope no one's out there. <laughs> well, you can see it's caught just spinning a little bit. Straight on top of a little girl who's playing a game down there. <laughs> Why'd you only tie up one arm? Somebody should have taken it. Well, that's the same cigarette. Nope, he's getting another one. All right. He's well, out of he's out. What are you looking at? Part of it also is like a fact check on like the actual the actual sphere of laundriness. And they're like, no, the guard in that position would have a different staff completely or a different type of spear. It's an obvious fake. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's pretty good. Spear of Longinius? Yeah, they're saying it's it couldn't have been a cavalry lance because Calvary right on horses. I don't think it was a Calvary lance from the Bible. It was that's, just a, it was just a guard. It's a Roman soldier. That's what they're saying. Because the one they claimed was real was a Calvary lance, and the one they had, you know, like in the museum, in real life. It's an obvious fake because it was a Calvary Lance. So the real Spear Destiny was an obvious fake, huh? <laughs> yeah, typical atheist of logic. <laughs> Doesn't he literally die in the, like, the very first mission he goes on? <clears throat> the Shia LaBeouf character. Mm. No spoilers, please. Oh, shit. Spoilers. I've never seen this. There's his third cigarette. Okay. Fourth. No, he, he didn't have any before. He went to go light another one up, and then he didn't have any more. Gotcha. 
That's why I always hated the soft pack. I tried so hard not to let this happen. What? These cords get tangled up. Uh. Like, literally, repeatedly. And then the, the, as soon as I was done, they were like tied in a knot. It's like, what the fuck? It means every 10 minutes or so he's lighting up a cigarette. Peter Stormare, as a devout Christian, only took the role because they promised they let him act like he thinks the devil would actually act. Alright. So that's kind of funny. That's why they don't let crazy people wander around. Roger Ebert is a moron. This is one of his most hated movies. <laughs> Out of everything he's watched, too. That's crazy. Yeah, he's a jackass. Well, may he rot in hell. <laughs> Fair enough. He's dead, right? I hope so. I don't know. <clears throat> he's dead to me. How's that? <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> I doubt there's a lot I agreed with Roger Ebert on. You seem more like the Ebert type to me, for sure. No, fuck both of them. There was a one series of movies they actually liked. I think it was it was surprising too. It was like something like the thing, but I know it's not the thing because I know one of them talks shit about that one. Number four. Prepare how? You know how many times I've spit in the devil's eye? He's a suicide. Yeah. I've seen this before. Attempted suicide, right? No, he... he then how is he still walking around? Because they revived him. Like Jesus? They brought him back, he was dead, and then he came back. He legitimately died, and that's how he came back. And that's why it was, it's considered suicide. Hmm. He doesn't get a redo? No. But he did. he's not dead. There's no mulligan. Apparently there is. No. He came back, you said. Well, that's why he's doing this, is he thinks that by doing this, he'll gain courage. If he does enough good, he'll get his soul back? Yes. It doesn't work that way? No. This isn't like heart lighter than a feather kind of thing? No. Because I feel like I would pass that test. Wrong religion. 
You're thinking of ancient Egypt. This is... Oh, I thought we were talking about the true gods. Which? Apparently the ancient Egyptian ones. No. No. So how do they do it in this religion? Christianity? Your, yeah, your heart's got to be heavier than a feather? Suicides go to hell? Just Or purgatory. God, I forget. I think purgatory. That's seven true things. What? The Pope declared that not true. Oh, okay. Do they just go to hell? No, it's not a sin. Hmm. Is that retroactive? Uh, if he says it is, it was. If he didn't say it was, then it wasn't. Well, inquiring minds want to know. I'm gonna that sounds it. like a pretty cool gig. Pope? Pope, yeah. I like the outfit. I guess the uniform. I like the uniform. Outfit, uniform, same thing. Yeah, but that makes it a lot funnier. What are you doing to all those poor cows? They're dying awfully quick, huh? And rotting. They made that really dark. The sun was still up. You could see it in the background. Two Oscar winners and one Oscar nominee. Uh, Rachel Weisz and Tilda Swinton are the winners. And Digimon Anso is the nominee. Oh, it's good to see him getting some play. I've heard this song before. Yeah. This is that, uh, that Great Chefs show. Oh, there you go. Not good. Another cigarette? Yep. Okay, I'll count it. <clears throat> oh, shit, a life-size replica of Rachel Weisz was made. <laughs> huh. They had to symbolically destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 getting a hold of it. Yeah, that's what I always think when I see the, the full-body prosthetics. Because there's that story where it was like, some guy got to make one for Natalie Portman in the third uh, Star Wars movie. Okay. But he made it clear to like one too many people that he was a little too happy about it. <laughs> so they took it away from him. No. Well, because he probably got to make a bunch of cast and stuff of... Yeah, that's, what, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. And I, he wasn't actually Natalie Portman. I just pulled it. You know, an actress on the fucking iron. So. I have the best job ever. Beeman. So apparently that's just this adaptation that he's going to hell because he committed suicide. Well, okay. That's kind of a weird thing to throw in. In the, the well, in the comic book, it's because he tried to summon a demon to his body and like take it over and oh. use its powers. And then the demon said, "Don't fuck you," and then grabbed a little a little girl back to hell with him. I almost said a little black girl back to hell with him because I misread the word back twice. <laughs> And then, like, I paused because I went, like, why did they feel the need to say the name of the girls? They didn't. That was just me being an asshole. All right, fair enough. Yeah. It's dripping wet on the floor, Mr. Constantine. I can... I've had prophetic dreams about you. Did she just like, he opened the door and she like snuck in real quick? <laughs> she batman her way in.
Damn, that's a hell of a thing to say about your fucking twin sister. <clears throat> yeah. She knew I hated her. Yes. Did you have a soda again, by chance? Yeah. I'm sorry? Did you have a soda about? DP? No, never mind. Here. I don't want it. Thank you. Oh, okay. You're fine. Give me some. Yeah, well, obviously you believe you're, like, working with angels and demons and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she, does he, no, what, isn't that the, that's Tilda Swinton, that's the one that comes back as Gabriel. It is yeah, Gabriel. They yeah. said it was Gabriel. Oh, okay. She should be taller than him. Oh, yeah. Like a head taller. Perspective. Yeah, you know, just like when they're right now and they're standing next to each other, she's just like a head taller than him. So, she just says because of the life you took. She doesn't say because you tried to take your own life. That's true. I don't remember them technically saying he tried to commit suicide or whatever. Uh, the devil brings it up. Okay. He finds him and goes, again? Oh, because you cuts learned your lesson again. the first time. Yeah, okay. I do remember that now that you bring There's it up. There's one more. I already got it marked down. I don't know why you're pointing at it like I'm not doing it. it all right. Is that twice? Oh, wait a minute. Apparently Gabriel stranded on Earth. That's why they have wings. It's been they've been chopped. <coughs> I do this sometimes too, but for different reasons. <laughs> but it's porn videos. It's all penthouse. <laughs> Must find the unstained sheet. Stain it. Must find clean sock. Unclean it. <laughs> Look at that little... What is that, like, three by nine, but sideways? It's like nine by three? The fuck? What's with that aspect ratio? It's like cell phone footage. This might have been one of those movies that was filmed in four by nine. It makes more sense if you watch it in that aspect ratio. <laughs> you can see up her skirt. Thompson, Thompson. <laughs> Is that a fax machine? Just a fax, ma'am. This is already a landline. 
How many phones does she have? Give her a break. This is the early 2000s. When you still had a cell phone and a landline, just in case. And, and apparently a separate fax line? Well, yeah, yeah, you want a separate fax line. Just in case you're using your landline. I think you take the chains. I think you roll those dice. Oh, not in the early 2000s. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no rolling those dice. Not early, whatever this was. 2005. Brought to you by Chevy. They still make the Equinox. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> Now I'm going to have to fight a rat. And a crab? Why not? I guess they're like the cockroaches of the sea, right? Come on, swing it. It's not very nice. Fire a crazy cockroach man, and I ask someone to do me a favor, and they start doing it, and I'll leave that guy alone. <laughs> Here's some matches, buddy. All right, you survived today, John. There you go. This is this would be awful. I hate bugs. Yeah. Oh, I got some in my mouth, and my eyes, and my nose. Oh, and his breath stinks. Uh, yeah, there'd be a lot going on here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Person. Like, this demon would be incredibly effective. Yeah. Imagine when you just hit, like, a whole swarm of <laughs> Yeah, creatures. 200 pounds worth of fucking anthropods or whatever. What do you mean that the, the company van's been damaged by a cockroach? <laughs> I swear to you, I haven't been drinking. You'd be taking pictures with your old 2005 flip phone. And you, know, <laughs> you, know, like, you wouldn't be able to tell. I'm so you when I get back to the office because I have no physical way of sending these people. <laughs> I don't even know why it lets me take these pictures. You can't even see what it is. There's another cigarette. All right. Oh, you just fought the bug monster. Do you think he took a shower first? Oh, do you think he came straight here? Straight here. Is that like a beaver princess playing an opium flute? <laughs> <laughs> So, Will Smith, the winner that he is, he suggested Shia LaBeouf for this movie. After working with him in iRobot? Yes. As far as you remember that, yes. That's exactly why. This song sounds kind of familiar. What's this, like, A Perfect Circle? Yeah. So, the angel had glowing eyes like that, too. Does that mean these are angels? Or yeah. demons or something? All demons are angels. Well, at one point, all demons were angels, right? Isn't that the thing? Yeah. They were the half that sided against God. Yes, because that's they wanted exactly the, right. The freedom to choose. There's three whole songs in this movie, and yes, one of them is A Perfect Circle. Better, well, better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Well, you're only going to get one reigning in hell, but at least you have the option. You know, at least you have the choice. And I think that was the whole point, right? That's what the whole war was about, was choice. Free to choose. There he is. This is uh, Digimon Hansu. Yep. No, this is. We were watching this because of um, Vigo something. But that's not Mac De, Mac he's still in it. Mac De Roy. Mac Close De Roy. enough. But I feel like Digimon Hansu is way more. We already did him though. But he's way more cool. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> a pink fuzzy scarf? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a pimp. Not quite. There's another one. Okay. So what's that? We're up to eight. Halfway there already.
Oh, and all the ones on Earth are the half breeds, huh? I guess. So this is like uh, some noir style, but with demons and shit. Some dame came into my shop, and it's like the suicide sister. And I, something was out of right. I could just smell it. All right. <laughs> this guy's he, pretty aggressive. He does play a creepy demon. So I saw red eyes, blue eyes, and gold eyes. Assuming the gold eyes are the angels, right? Red eyes will be the demons. Smack my bitch up! Gold eyes would be angels? Yeah, that's what I said. What about the other eyes? Bull bow bowl. Somewhere in between. Right. I think I saw vampires too. What? Yeah, it looked like they were eating somebody. They had like fangs and shit. We're gonna count that as another cigarette? Yeah. Most death. They're really front ending this shit, huh? Yes. Oh, he's gonna let it go. You know, to show that he's a good guy. I was, re the spiders were harmed in the making of this film. We'll see. We'll check at the end. Because they kill a lot of bugs in this. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and probably a dog or two. I'm just assuming. But I'm playing a lot of uh, yeah. cyberpunk. You just cut to him watching Milo notice. <laughs> <laughs> just a waterfall scene. <laughs> yeah. Over and over again. <clears throat> it's so funny to hear him talk. Johnny Silverhead. Fuck you, cop. I knew I shouldn't have let the dame walk through the door. He's a spirit detective. Look at all the holy water. Did you ever notice that before? No. I didn't even There's notice There's another it one. Time. I'm already writing it down. We're up to ten. So, if you look along his wall, okay. all those jugs he are like, all holy water. You think he's a priest or something? I'm ordained. Maybe. Make his own holy water. No, he probably has a hookup. All right. I don't know if it'll show it again. Up oh, there, the other corner. All those jugs on the on the floor. Mm -hmm. How do you know they're holy water? Quite a bit of trivia. <laughs> All right. I guess I can't argue with that. They don't have this here, but later in the film, the holy hand grenades he uses. <laughs> what? Their Christmas ornaments filled with uh, holy water. All right. I was thinking more Monty Python. Is that in toward to his house? Go into my bed. <laughs> into my bedroom, if you will. <clears throat> what a great religion. <laughs> Love me a burning hell. I mean, there's a certain 
style there that I can admire. Uh, I didn't realize this is the one from the Mummy in Enemy of the Gates. Okay. Oh yeah. She's the the hot wife in the uh, Mummy. I did not put that together. When was the Mummy? Two thousand. No, maybe ninety nine. Right, I'm looking. Nineteen ninety nine. There you go. She still looks good. It's like five years later. That's I mean, in Hollywood time, that's like two decades. Uh, yeah, and some women age real quick. It's all the cocaine. He's also in Deep Blue Sea, which I think is on our list somewhere. No, nope. between toys and. <clears throat> uh -huh. Well, that's true. I gotta get back on that. I said lied to you. I told you the core was on it. Uh -huh. I misremembered it was the fucking sphere. It's not oh. that. I know. Oh, I'm a big Michael Crichton <laughs> fan, so that's not as disappointing as you might think about it. <laughs> <laughs> the core. I didn't program empty space. What does that mean? They're geodes. Oh, no. It's whales. It's whales. That's how the movie ends. Drilling through a whale. <laughs> At least burning them up in superheated water. That's one of my favorite lines. I missed it. I was too busy reminiscing. I don't believe it. in the devil. You should. He, he believes, believes in, in you. you. The Christians use that. That's, they print those little proverbs up <laughs> on... Uh, <laughs> he does. <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. At least somebody believes in me. It's true. You actually get power the more people believe in you. Yeah, you know who doubts me right now? Jesus. Like this devil guy, so it's on my fucking side. <coughs> it's demons, bitch! Move. The one of the ways of like a representing a, a bad person dying that I really like was um, ghost. Ghost. Oh, okay. You when know, the shadows like, come for him? Yeah, and, like leap out of the ground and start mm -hmm. to pull him down as oh, they yeah. like, struggle and fight. And they're just whispering things like. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I don't know. We could probably do Ghost. We'll be one on award for that, right? An yeah. Emmy or something. Best Supporting Actress? Demi or Whoopi or somebody. I'm a big uh, Whoopi fan. Why not? Is this what happens every time he catches his hand on fire? Ah, oh, that was so goddamn hot. Ah, what the fuck? Who are you talking to? There's another one? <clears throat> when you find out God is real and demons and shit are all real? Another cigarette. She said like, I ran over a homeless man in 1987. <laughs> 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 Because it's like, you can be as bad as you want until you learn that, or you can, you know, just rely on a legitimate deathbed confession. Or hope that he's actually a priest and ask for forgiveness. And then no, that's can, what I'm saying. Like, yeah. just in, on these rules. You just have to be penitent, right? So many Hail Marys and what have you. <clears throat> What's that bus driving on the wrong side of the road? Maybe it's a one-way road. Uh, that was quick. Cinematic. I did not even... I didn't even contemplate that. That was that was fast, Jake. <laughs> Cinematic. Hey, you got me? Hey, I've had some experiences with one-way roads. Yeah, I fucking hate one-way roads. One-way roads. That's a weird... weird. When was it? The one-way roads. Up north? What town was it? Ashford. Yeah, Ashford, yeah. <laughs> so, my last debacle with a one-way road was we were driving through the nothing town of Ash Fork. It has one road that goes in one direction in a big circle. A sprawling metropolis. Yeah, is and Ash Fork. there's a couple of roads that cross it. So we get on this main road and we get about halfway down and there's literally nothing. So I'm like, okay, fuck this. I just pulled into some place and flipped a bitch and turned around and went back the other way. And then I'm like, there's some guy driving in our lane like, Right at us, right? I'm like, look at this jackass. 
And he like got around and like went back. But then after we passed him, he like got back into the lane that I was driving in. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And so I'm looking around and I'm like, wait a minute. Because I can see, like, the back of all the signs. <laughs> <laughs> like, all the cars are parked on the road, like, facing the other way. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> What's this fucking podunk-ass town? And then, you know, you go a couple more blocks, and you realize, oh, shit. It's one-way street, not yeah. driving the wrong way. If they don't have any wrong, wrong way signs except until you get to the end, yeah, like, <laughs> you have been driving the wrong way. Hey, signs. signs are expensive uh, for so for a small town. Oh, shit, yeah, it's probably true. It's like yeah. for a budget. Just put all the no-way signs up. <laughs> to put a couple of them? No way. They don't have much of a budget, I can tell you. Most of it's unincorporated. What's he going to do, that poor cat? What isn't he going to do? But yeah, like how frustrated that guy looked in like like <laughs> and I was looking at him too, like kinda of in the face and like the gall of this guy. <laughs> I fucking him as he goes by. Who do you think you are? Do you're just a podunk ass town and we're like a truck full of fucking guys? Well, at least you didn't our arm. Arm. probably would have shot at us. Well, yeah, I'd been a better shot. I live in Ash Fork. You have no idea how hard my life is. He's literally just holding a shotgun like below the door. Oh, I fuck, I would be surprised. Shotgun and a beer. Did he do something to the cat? No, he just stared at its eyes because right. cats are half in, half out. So I was thinking you should maybe drive to like Chino Valley rather than stay in Ash Fork, like you're saying, doing with your family. <laughs> there is one motel in Ash Fork. I know you like the at the hotel. It's a motel. Do you have a, an alarm on your car? No. I wouldn't stay there. It's a motel. That's I, I've read the reviews. People are saying it's constantly cars being broken into. Huh. The one motel in Ash Fork? It's probably the people that work there. You know? Oh, they bump the car just to see if it has an alarm. Yeah. And then... Whoop. Come back later in the middle of the night when they know you're sleeping. Because yeah. everybody's tired. Nobody stays in Ash Fork. Why would you? You just drive through to Williams. That's like the next town over. Yeah, without an alarm, I'd be very worried. I've never been worried in my life. Well, I'd be worried for you. Oh, well, okay. One of the guys looked like he was on his hands and knees, and he really looked like he was enjoying it. This is, I always thought was kind of strange. Like the half head thing. And didn't they have wings earlier? Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure they were just flying around in the last scene. <clears throat> How is he Different not types of demons. These are warrior demons. All right. It's like, uh, what are those called? Uh, we were just talking about them the other day. Zerg? Zerglings or whatever from uh, Starship Troopers? The bugs? How some of them just flew for some reason? All right. would have to be sense of smell. They don't even have ears. Dun, dun, dun. That means half your soul's in hell. Because you're a, it's like, you know, some forgotten Catholic thing, but the Pope never said, nope. <laughs> Twins, fucking. Yeah, you got half a soul each. So much. Do you think it makes you hungry? Yes. Going to hell and whatnot? All those burnt calories, I don't know. Uh, it probably smells good. Hell? Yeah. Good, like, a barbecue? Oh, like roasting oh, people. Oh, so you like it? Yeah, because hey, that's gonna be yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be like once you realize why does it smell so good? Somebody's like, what are you stupid? It's the people cooking. <laughs> you're like, oh fuck, long, long <laughs> yeah. and you know you're never gonna get to eat me. So it's like, uh, oh, and it smells so good. 
Yeah, the teams never share dicks. <laughs> yeah, I know, they're so mean. What is this Creeper McCreeperson doing in a morgue? That's well, he looks like some sort of priest. This is the reason we're watching the movie, right? It's this guy? Yeah. He was in the last movie we watched. He's not even on the main cast, I don't think. Oh, no, it's Jose Zaniga, the, the undercover cop. That's oh, okay, he was the guy from Con Air. Now yeah. I remember. Yeah, he's... See, I knew we weren't just making it up. <laughs> I told you multiple times. I couldn't... I, I have to make the connection myself. <laughs> I didn't remember who Jose Zaniga was, though, to be fair. Well, that didn't help. There's like six Mexican guys in that movie. Yeah, quite a few. In Con Air because they're racists. Yeah. It's true. I like how all the white guys are the bad guys in that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's hot. <clears throat> that was easy. Imagine if, like, you could just watch a priest do this crazy shit. <laughs> he doesn't even know I'm watching. Yeah. Poor planning, I didn't bring any holy water vodka. Don't drop your flask. Oh, who's caught trying to have sex with a corpse? That as priest far as is like, all fucked up. Yeah. yeah. That's probably a big part of his job, keeping people yeah. out of there. Yeah. 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 Good thing I have this large open glass three to drink from. Get a straw. <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> Liquor store about getting owners glass? do not appreciate it. I understand, though. It's like, oh, we got another one. <laughs> this guy. Pinstripes with polka dots. No one use a fucking demon for sure. Power clashing. <laughs> right? I just watched 30 Rock. He looks like Doctor Who. He looks like a Doctor Who character. That's <laughs> not what I expected. Do you see all those bags of ice that were just lying on the floor back there? It's like a whole stack of bags of ice. <laughs> Old people. Oh. I don't remember this part. This is backstory, right? So you're dead for infinity? Oh, okay, just a lifetime. Well, that's good. Well, yeah, only one lifetime. He was just in hell for two minutes. You know, just a minute ago. Well, when time stops, you think it'd be kind of, that's it. But, all right. All right. So, it's not time stops. It just goes really slow. Yes. Which you think would be pretty damn pointless, honestly. What, what's the point? Eternity. The, Eventually, the, you're done. But the eternity outside of the, with time, like, congruency, or with, <laughs> with or without time congruency, it's... it's all right, crazy. snap. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Just for fun? 
Because even eternity, and it goes even slower. <laughs> it was like the bartender, the guy running the liquor store is like an angel. Is that it just is. some random guy? Did you see the ice? It was on the floor on the bottom left corner. No, I missed it, but they brought up, for some reason, the director wanted uh, the Earthbound Angels to all have uh, dirty gray wings. All right. Instead of big, beautiful white ones? Yeah. That type of fallen angel, Earthbound Angel. I don't know if I said that correctly. Why does everybody keep saying that? Little strangers walk up to him. Why are you trying to buy your way into heaven, son? You know you're damned to hell. Oh, even like those cre street crazies with like signs, like they have a sign. <laughs> I like that. I like that line too. God's this kid with an ant farm. He's not planning anything. Just sitting there and watching. Then a lot of more shit sews up and Alright, keep your eyes open for bags of ice on the floor. <laughs> Prop ice. We tell. There he is! Why is his arm a sling? Why not? Backstory. See look at right there. On the left. Yeah. Just, it's just a bunch ground. of a stack of a bunch of ice. It was on a hand truck. So somebody probably was getting oh, it. I didn't even see the hand truck. There's the ice. It's not melting either. Oh, that'd be funny. Like eight hours later, it's still not melted. Just like the demon like sucked the warmth out of everything or something. All right. Ice comes into play. Ooh. It's kind of seductively rubbing on that yeah, guy. Yeah. Got me it's a like nine and a half weeks or whatever. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. But he's holding it sideways, so he's like, hmm, is it the X-Files? You gotta look at it in the mirror. <laughs> it's perfectly symmetrical, but okay. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I get fireworks have gone off. I'm sorry. Good boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. And he turns it like 30 degrees. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then looks at it in a mirror. It's necessarily free. It's like demonology thing. You understand. Oh, that would be free if you had it at the right angle and you hold the mirror up. You'd be like, there it is. Pretty nice pull of this is saying it's Yeah. <coughs> Two weeks. Two weeks. See, how do you not have the door locked? I guess it's that big picturesque window doesn't help anything either. <sighs> Low security? Oh, okay. It's more like a hospital and a fucking insane asylum. Yeah, you expect a person when they're having trouble to have enough sense to, like, maybe talk to someone. But they had her in a weird outfit. Seems like you'd at least let her wear pants. She was wearing, like, a <sighs> hospital gown. All right. Who put this cross on the wall? So when's that spear come back into play? Mm. There's some really good good ones I'm looking forward to here. Lost Boys, Tombstone. <laughs> Dusting off some classics. Yeah. I can't even remember the last time I saw either of those movies. Childhood. That's like a childhood thing. I made you watch a couple of clips of Lost Boys. Of the sexy saxophone man on the beach. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely remember that. That's weird. It is. That's weird to see as a child. That whole movie's weird. 
I think it had to be all kinds of fucked up. You're eating maggots, Billy. <laughs> right? I could never eat rice again after that. <laughs> what did you do? What did you go? I'm scared, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You're breaking me down. I'm scared of losing you, Chief. <laughs> Okay, so look around for a message, bitch. You know, for having Gavin Rossdale on this, mm -hmm. do they have any Bush songs in the entire movie? There's no way that was him. What are you talking about, Bathazar? It's Gavin Rossdale. Who is it? Yeah. I thought he looked particularly beautiful. Yes, yeah, Gavin Rossdale. Holy shit! I can see why people are so in love with him. Oh, that the vermin man. That's there's a face to attribute to that. Okay, is that Saw? <laughs> no. No. <coughs> Just some guy named Larry <coughs> Cedar. <coughs> he did the voice. Oh, that's uh, Pierce's dad. <laughs> Pierce Hall Hall from Community. Okay, yes. the one with the ivory wig. Yeah. All right. After the generations of misogyny with Laplanders, you're practically a fan. <laughs> That's one of my favorite fucking lines ever. As a non-Frenchman. <gasps> <laughs> this whole time. Yeah. Oh, French-Canadian. Damn it! <laughs> Johnny Silverhand. That's like a line from fucking Cyberpunk. I oh, wonder. I wouldn't be surprised if a bunch of his lines from various things haven't been. Yeah, from all these different movies. Yeah. Anyone they were named Johnny? I wouldn't Johnny be surprised. Johnny Mnemonic, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, well, because Point Break, Johnny Mnemonic, Constantine, John Wick. Yeah. You know, the list goes on and on. The Matrix. He's Johnny like, Mnemonic. who should be named John? <laughs> Johnny Mnemonic? Did you uh, already say that? I already said that one. Oh. I mean, I said it. Whatever. Well, whatever. I mean, I'm going to take credit for it. it it's, it's been said. It, yes. It, I already brought it up. Johnny Utah? Mm-hmm. You yeah, he said the four Johnnies. I think there's probably more than that. Is his uh, name John and Johnny Rusty? Anderson? Is it? Could it really be? I bet that if you just look, they're all John. It's always John. <laughs> I'll look it up. Uh, yeah, you get some Warhammer stuff going here. Grandfather Nurgle's in the house. <laughs> Just say it smells like ass. Tom. Tom Anderson. That was nice. At least he tried. He died like he lived. Crazy. <laughs> Got faith, and then it's wine coming out of the spigot. I mean, I'd probably have a lot more faith if something like it's that. It's water happened. turning into wine. He played John in the movie called Generation Um, with three point nine stars rating. Oh, probably his like worst movie. I've never even heard of it. I have not either. What says, what's that one? Not Interview with a Vampire, The Devil's Advocate. You think that's his highest? Highest, technically rated? Yeah, probably. What else has he done that's ever been serious? I didn't even know he had this many movies under his belt. I'm just going to say. He has a ton. Yeah, this is, Matrix is higher than Devil's Advocate. 
Uh, well, The Matrix, the first one especially, that's practically a perfect movie. Yeah, it's... it's Technically, it's about as close as you're going to get. I mean, they're bringing up stuff at the very beginning. I mean, the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. That's great. It was genre-defining. It's it's it was almost generation-defining, I would say. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Especially the Starship first Troopers? One. Oh, not even. Not even. People didn't even understand that movie. Jonathan Harker, Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> nice. Another Johnny. Jonathan. So I was saying what would be funny is if they just took all these ones where he plays John and they just take quotes directly from the movie. And just use it in the video game? Or the movie Freight, where he was uncredited as Ortiz the Dog Boy. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> well, because it's like the guy from Bill and Ted, right? Yeah, it's the yeah. other guy. So, Ted uh, S. Preston or whatever. Esquire. Pepper? Johnny Pepper? Holy shit, so his second movie, big movie after Bill and Ted was Point Break. I okay, that, that was later. pretty quick. I would, yeah, I would put that later. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the, the sequel. No, mm. There's still a Parenthood. That is a great fucking movie. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people liked it, but I don't know how big it was. Even though it's rated seven point one. Seven. I mean, seven. That's a very solid score. Yeah. Yeah, I would read it at seven something at least. I've never seen it. It's uh, so good. Steve Martin. I'm not a big Steve Martin guy. I love Steve Martin. My sister had a crush on him, so I was encouraged to watch a lot of Steve Martin movies. Yeah. I'm scoffing at some of these credits. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Johns. Uh, yeah, there's a Jack. Babes in Toyland is Jack. Be nimble. Okay, I'm gonna count it. All right, Jack is short for John, right? Well, Jonathan. <laughs> What are you, Jackathan? Of course. Jacob? Oh, shit. Uh, no. No? No. Jake is short for Jacob. It's not Jacob. It's Jacob. What's Jack short for? Jack one. Jackson. It's like maybe. Robert. Right? Robert Isn't that those. stupid dick? Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. How does that work? And Bob? Wait a minute, why Bob? It doesn't even start with an R. Shouldn't it be Rob? Bobber. Oh, that too? Why is there so many things that's short for Robert? But <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Why Robert? Or Richard? Slow down here for a little bit. This is a like slow 10 minutes or so. I mean, we're watching previews for other... Keanu Reeves movie yeah. is so fucking slow. I don't remember Every, that. Everything else has been pretty decent uh, as far as keeping attention. This is definitely got what I would call pacing issues. He was in the movie Keanu as the voice of Keanu. Okay. Oh. I didn't realize it was animated, but all right. He's in that Neon Demon movie where they eat Elle Fanning. Never seen it. Not much worth watching. Yeah, I didn't think it doesn't seem like my kind of movie. Oh, no. Maybe a cool lesbian scene. But nah, not really. Yeah, there's it, to hope. It's Rocket from, um, God, what is this, Zack Snyder movie? Sucker Punch? Yeah, Rocket for Sucker Punch. I never watched that. Trying it to make out with Elle Fanning. That but movie, then she starts biting her. That movie's boring as shit, too. It was dumb. Ah. <sighs> Considering it's a holy fantasy scenario, I would have had things happen differently, I think, as well. It should have been cooler. No, there, was so much, that. there was so much cooler stuff. Like, they had all kinds of cool things they could have done with what they already had. Isn't he about to try to drown her? Um, he said it lubricates the transition. So, yeah, probably. I think you have to almost be about dead. Oh, this is it's probably like uh, Frightener's Rules or whatever. Yeah, but he told her to take a deep breath. It'll just prolong the badness. It'd be like, exhale your hair in the air and then push her down. He probably doesn't want her to struggle. No, but she's going to struggle no matter what. That's yeah, but at least he's already set up. You don't have to start from the beginning. No, she but that's, will... that's, that's, this is the beginning. You're going to hold your breath for a fucking minute and then let it go and then start to struggle. 
No matter how, how fucking... <laughs> that's, there's no way around this. Oh, did he trick her? Yeah, that's how he got her to go under. Because she thought it was just going to be a, a temporary thing. Oh, so that's why he would say, take their deep breath. Yeah. That's hilarious. And you get her to go under easy. I misunderstood. That's great. And technically, she's not killing herself. I think that's the point, right? She has to die a little <laughs> bit. And he's going to bring her back to life is the assumption. And then she'll be a better cop because of it. Well, she'll probably be able to see crazy things, right? Because like I said, I think it's like Frightener's Wolves. When you go through some traumatic thing or whatever, you get uh, some sort of heightened sense or whatever. <laughs> Who has a porcelain tub? That's not porcelain. Oh, shit. It's cast iron. See that nip. All right. I guess there's a little bit there. It's areola, technically, I believe. I'm going to count it. I actually don't have my glasses on. I can't see shit. You really can't see anything. Okay. There's just a, some slight shading. No, no, no. Okay. Right. I basically have my face glued to the screen, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jake, you should back up a little bit. I probably should. So we should. can see the screen. That hacker's one was good. You got a couple of nips in that. Oh, yeah. You know people weren't meant to see it in that high def. Yeah. There's a, here's a minor level of section, sexiness that should be in the movies. This one's a little failing so far. There definitely should be some. I thought there was going to be some moments where he kissed the angel, too. Because they were getting, like, real close. And, like, leaning in on each other. I, like, I don't know if he likes Gabriel. Yeah, but still. Like, at all. you still going to have sex with it. Well, it's yeah. an angel. You don't pass up an But there's probably no orif orifice they size. Got they got a mouth. I bet there is. They're probably at both. But I always pictured angels just being like guys, right? And the reason they can't reproduce is there's no female angels. That's why they have sex with people. And that's where giants and things like that come from. Mm, I believe uh, that was settled in dogma. They're like a Ken doll. Well, yeah, but I'm not a big Kevin Smith guy. So the Harvey I'm, Weinstein production produced the uh, dogma. Really, you should per pull this look off pretty well. Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> oh, Kevin Smith? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, just recently, because I started growing my hair out. But <coughs> if you ever wondered what I look like, Jake, probably a twenty-nine-year-old Kevin Smith. All right. I look like an 87-year-old Kevin Smith. <laughs> right. You care to uh, say what kind of Muppet you look like? Me? Current Kevin Smith is all inflated because <laughs> he's a vegetarian now. I would say that I look like one of the... Uh, <clears throat> the demons from Constantine? No, well, because maybe the Swedish chef. That. The monkeys from Congo. <laughs> Ouch. Swedish chef. No... <laughs> I'd say more like one of the old guys up top. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I hate you so much. You didn't much. think I had one. They have a, such a distinct name that's so easy to forget, but so easy to remember, like off a multiple choice list, it drives me crazy. The old men? Yeah. It's like Wallace and Shaw or something like that. I have no idea. Sadler and Waldorf, named after the hotels in New York City. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, you look like the one on the right, the one with the big mouth. <laughs> the <big> <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. This movie's boring as shit. This part, so far. Uh, so this far, part, I mean, we got to do two okay. things. I was okay with oh, okay. Good. First, one-third's good. Second, okay. one-third's kind of rough. Yeah, well, I mean, we're actually talking about the pretty. movie, and we're kind of excited. Uh, this is like the third... Uh, Third act. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This is the, the end of the third act, the beginning of the fourth act. <laughs> I think there's only just, three acts. Uh, it's a perfect three act play. I thought there was four acts. No, it's no. three. Beginning, middle, end. Oh. Well, we'll call this the beginning of the fourth act. Ooh, we might get some nip right up. Not even a little bit. Uh, dude's keeping his top on tight. Sucks. <laughs> 
I wonder what Constantine II is going to be about. It's probably going to be him old as shit. Shia LaBeouf's going to be there, for sure. Shia LaBeouf. And are you sure he's going to be in it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking some sort of like cat's eye, monkey's paw wish kind of thing. Bring back my, my taxi dr cab driver. <laughs> this is this is good special effects. <coughs> oh, that was the holy hand grenade I was talking about. Yeah. All right. Christmas grenade just filled with holy water. <laughs> I refuse to believe a cop doesn't walk around with one chamber. Well, they probably all walk around with one chamber. Yeah, for sure. And an itchy trigger finger. And yeah. also, that's not a good. That's a Terrible cop gun. They just like the look of the prop. Probably. It's a fucking nine round magazine when they would have been using Glocks. Yeah, they'll have a full size. Probably 19, 9 mil. They just wanted a silver and they didn't want to buy a fucking chromed gun or something. <laughs> Holy brass knuckles. That's he's exactly he's a lot more built than I thought he would be. The guy from Bush? Alright. He's a pretty big guy. He looks good in that suit. I like, even though this is also clashing, his bright red tie. Like You're supposed to have a pop of color. No. Not Absolutely. Like that. Not like that. You're always supposed to have a pop of color because it's boring if you don't. I'd rather let my personality stand out. Yeah, like yeah you want to be professional. Put on some sunglasses. <laughs> Wear a nice watch. Get some See, cuffs. Those are good practical effects. That, <laughs> what the fuck? I can see the strings. Oh, Jesus Christ. It is something like, yeah, like, they put a big fake face on part of it, and then the other part they also make up with less so, or something like that. All right. They described it earlier. I didn't bother to memorize it. Sorry. But it's pretty interesting how they did some of these things. Part of screen screen, I forget. Molly. Part of the Old Testament with Jesus inserted for no reason. <laughs> and then he just starts beating his face in with those fucking brass knuckles. Well, yeah, because he's got to kill him because it's his last rites. Oh, God. Last time I went to the hospital. Hearing fucking multiple last rites being read. You know, like, oh, fuck. God damn, I hate County so much. Why did I go during COVID? So he couldn't send him back to hell? No, he's purposely not sending him back to hell. No, he can't send him to hell. He was going to send him to heaven. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Because hell's home for him. Yeah. Heaven, he probably goes up there and gets owned by a bunch of angels, right? He gets burned forever by the holy light instead. Well, hey, the, the fiery magma that is heaven or whatever. Yeah. Where all the sinners burn. Wait, wait a minute. What? <laughs> you let him live, huh? All right. Keep in mind, until... Um, according to Revelations, until the rapture and yes. uh, Satan takes over the world... There is no peace in heaven. Even the people in heaven are screaming constantly at God, begging him to please destroy the world so they can rest. Huh. They sit in like an ever-growing uh, glass sea in front of his fucking uh, throne with uh, you know, the lion-headed slaughtered lamb bullshit and all that crazy <laughs> okay. crap. With all the eyeballs and stuff? Yes. It's, I mean, I, I don't remember it specifically, but there's a Lego Last Testament thing that's so funny. Because <laughs> they, they represent that. everything said, but in Lego, and you <laughs> see how fucking insane it is. And you're like, okay, so even the people who've died who are Christian are still being tortured right now up in heaven? So in other words, until, until the rapture, <laughs> we're in the same state. All right. At least it's probably nicer down here. You don't have that ocean of glass or whatever. <laughs> At least you can, like, take a nap and get some ice cream or whatever. No, I meant the saints in the centers. 
Uh, he's he's not disappointed. Living versus dead. He's disappointed that he got betrayed by the son of the devil. Surprised? Question mark. <sighs> I'm surprised. Well, I guess it's better. Surprised slash disappointed. Well, uh, depending on which lore you go with, there's the devil's and actually not a bad person. This is uh, this is just this interpretation. The son of the devil. Or even the son of the devil. He might be that guy. Son of the devil might be an incredible asshole. He I don't know anything about him. Guy. He could yeah, be. Yeah, he, he might be anyone. Ray's right. You yeah. know, like, not all that sent to yeah. earth to die for your sins yeah. kind of thing. Incredibly supportive father who believes in you, <laughs> yeah. as you've already established. <laughs> you got this, boy. Oh, the way they did that effect is they made a miniature of her. Okay. And they just, that shoot away scene, and they just pulled it through some physical walls or whatever. All right. Some physical material. That's pretty solid effect. It did look pretty good. Yeah. The initial like trauma for just boom being pulled away like there's a lot of that in this movie feet. yeah like jump scare fucking crazy action happening jump scare but meaningful like I'm not angry <laughs> yeah it's, it's not like... a cat it's not nothing Where? <laughs> it's the sudden violent ex uh, explaining of this uh, explanation of this enemy's ability to affect the world. You're like, holy shit. Hell crap. But he got it right. Why wasn't the guy going to let him in? Oh, he, he just didn't. No, it wasn't right. It was a bird on a wire. There might be like a weird trick where you had to have no harm intended or blah, blah, blah. You know, something like that. And then he didn't match. So he couldn't guess the card. So he just fuck it. Witch Doctor's going to pull out his heart. Oh, shit. We got a Temple of Doom moment happening. Kumba Kale. Umba Chua. Umba I wish we could do the thing from Congo when they're doing like the little death dance or whatever. Oh. All three of us simultaneously. <laughs> right. Congo. Congo. Chica. <laughs> Chica. I think that's how it says it. Congo. really belief, uh, calls into our belief system. <laughs> like, like when we start doing all these voodoo chants. <laughs> like, it's a white shirt. Yeah, Calm yeah, the fuck down. How much did he say it cost? $200. With how I mean, often he's getting covered with crap, it seems like he'd buy cheap shirts. Yeah, but, yeah, right? See, I, what if it goes the other way? What if it's like some weird blessed silk? Oh. Holy armor, huh? Yeah. Blessed uh, by a priest or a rabbi? Or yeah, something? I was going to say, a kosher? rabbi helped make it. Like yeah, they'll do, that. they'll do shit like that for money. Yeah, like, what's the food? They'll do yeah. anything for money. I like that style. Would do anything, anything for money? Food. Yeah. I would bless someone's food. Hoka puka pupa. Hey, eat up. I hope it tastes good for you. Yeah. They can teach you how to make it taste better if it sucks. They <laughs> put kosher salt. Oh, shit! <laughs> it always goes back to them. <laughs> Kosher pepper? I didn't even know that was a thing. I'd better be good. <laughs> okay. Like, this is literally be the best pepper I've ever had. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those rabbis knew the whole time, and they never said? Oh, that's where Steph got her weird long pepper that we've been adding to all right. dishes. I know where she actually got it. It was the rabbi. It was from that Taste in History with Max Miller. Oh, okay. He suggested it. Yeah, he uses it in a lot of stuff. Oh, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, that's why. I'm assuming. I just can't believe it's not more popular. I never have heard of it, and it's yeah. great. This yeah. doesn't seem like a good idea. I, where do you get these old ass Edison fuse bulb things? You know how hard it is to get a, like a light bulb to do that. But it's only like one twenty. Okay. I'll be paranoid with this guy. Well, you'd be too if you had a spear of destiny. You're probably right. 
<coughs> the spearhead of destiny. The shaft didn't matter quite so much. It's true. It's kind of strange. Try to get your own. Go to Home Depot and get a nice one. Uh, it's, it has the same uh, connection as a mop head. It works out really well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You just bring in your It's connection. like universal and has been for, you know, 2,000 years yeah, or whatever. that's why that is. is a 9 by 16. You know, yeah, a six, a six pole thread I, at a 30 degree angle. I can't believe Digimon Hansu hasn't won any awards that I... I, I don't know. A lot of the parts he does are pretty solid. Uh, I'm probably surprised he got suggested for a reward, even though I think he's solid and he's in a lot of movies I like because we talk about him all the fucking time. Constantly. The dude does movies. I don't think he deserved an award for the movies I've seen. He probably doesn't, he's not in them enough. Uh, That could be. Because he always plays cool parts or whatever, but not very like... Like this one, he's not in it for more than five minutes? Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe? Yeah, and then we watched the movie that he was actually awarded for, and he's the main guy, oh, and it's like an blood emotional diamond type of... What? Blood Diamond. You remember with... Uh, Let's look at it up real quick. Hardy he was cute? Was for yeah, that, he was cute back in the day. I call him Titanic, but... Yeah, you're probably white. Solomon Van D and Blood Diamond. That's probably his most... I think it was in Amistad or something Oh, Guardians like of the Galaxy, I forgot! Yeah, those are both where he's like the star. That's where he would win an award. Is yeah, those. Do. yeah. Oh, Amistad was a great movie. No, but I mean, not. it's rough to watch because I don't like watching any of that shit. But and it's like torture kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like any of that body torture, body horror shit, or whatever. 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 No matter how real it might have been. Uh, thank you. That makes it worse. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You could still pray. It doesn't say what he was actually a, a suggested for. It just says the the seven other black males who've ever been suggested for. <laughs> oh, no. oh God! <laughs> yeah. One of it the seven actually... for supporting actor, probably. I'm just gonna say because even though the Blood Diamond movie, it's about him. He's like the dad who finds it. Sidney Poitier for Lilies of the Field. Wow. Louis Gossett Jr. for an Austin Hill for Officer the Gentleman. Those were. 19 years apart. The first one ever occurred for a black person was in 1963. The second was in 1982. All right. Denzel Washington for glory. To be fair, to be fair, they wrote shit parts for black actors back in the day. Well, specifically for that. And they were few and far between. I haven't seen Losing the Field, but I do like the, the last two movies. I haven't heard of any of these movies. Oh, Glory is an Glory's, excellent movie. Yeah, Never yeah, even heard of it. Definitely should watch it. Um, I don't really care for Jerry Maguire. Yeah, Cuba Jr. Training Maguire. Day is amazing, though. I don't remember. I didn't care for that. Yeah, I, I saw that one. It wasn't that good. Especially Rain. when you go back and look at it now, because it's like the teenage girl that almost gets raped that they save in the alley. She's like 30. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? You're not supposed to watch it in high school. Yeah, it's just, it's one of those movies for sure. Ray for Jamie Foxx, Morgan Freeman, Million Dollar Baby, <laughs> Forrest Whitaker, The Last King of Scotland. That's a fucked up movie, too. I haven't seen it. it. Sounds like a little more than nine shots. They say 33 uninterrupted shots from a 13 round <laughs> clip. All right. So That's I don't a- know if I've missed a bunch, but we're only up to 11 cigarettes so far. Oh, shit. Oh, it was so fronted on cigarettes. I thought we yeah. were definitely going to like that. The I would have pointed wrong. them out. Had I seen, had well, I, I seen, seen them, them, I haven't seen them spark one up in a while. It looks like they're making them paler as it goes on too. Um, if we get to twelve, we'll just assume we missed one. Maybe we stop paying attention. Well, we're only at eleven right now. That's what I'm. They no, said I'm, thirteen. I, I 13, remember twelve. Yeah. I remember twelve. It was thirteen. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was twelve and you said thirteen. <laughs> And so I remember it being 13. I remember you saying 13. Yeah. I, uh, I no, was... no, no. You said, we're up to 11. Yes. Yeah, you said 13. I remember the there being a 12. So okay. we should just assume that we kind of Oh, forgot. so you're saying we missed one. Because there was a big 10 minutes where we weren't paying attention to the movie. All right, I'm going to put one up with a question mark. We'll call that maybe 12. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll make a point at the end. We won't let anyone forget. <coughs> <coughs> that's I like the way weird... at least he turned his head. Yeah, that's some weird sawed off, by the way. Shoot it again. There's no way that was getting it. <laughs> Maybe he like put it in just in the corner and twisted it a little bit. It's that, uh, where you know how you're supposed to put the shapes in the various holes? And it's like a woman reacting oh, as yeah. every shape goes into the square. Yeah. <laughs> That's like such a good acting, it's funny. The problem with doing what he did demons. is the system's pressurized, right? So when you have a big hole in it like that, water would just leak out of that hole. Oh, they've already damaged the system in a different place? Well, that's where you, like, shot the hole in it and put the cross in, right? Okay. So it, that's just, what, it would just fall. It, well, so, it would fall, but what I'm saying is the system's pressurized. So once you puncture that tank... Oh, that would just start to flood. Water would start coming but out But it's of at there. the top of the building, right? Uh, yeah, but that would imply it's pressure-fed and needs to be managed by someone going and turning on a valve to feed the system and the amount of water, but it wouldn't be that way at all. That that almost be, like... A way to stop this pipe from jackhammering or something <laughs> stupid. It's that, that wouldn't exist. There's no reason there should be holy water right now. The, so the system, what I'm saying, is pressurized. You make that hole, water... Yeah. Psh, yeah. yeah. We just didn't understand what he was trying to do at that point. That he was operating a fucking what should be a pressurized system. But instead, they're acting like it's gravity fed, which is. God, she's close. been holding her breath for a while. <laughs> this keeps happening. If they're shooting 33 bullets, she can do a lot. I mean, she literally manifested bullets into that gun. Yeah, God is so much on her favor, it's kind of funny. She just makes poor wishes, is all. <laughs> God, I wish I had more bullets. Well, I mean, I don't see how it's going to help, but here you go. <laughs> yeah. Right? Blah, 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 the blah, one blah, blah, miracle blah. God ever grants or has granted in the past fifteen hundred years or whatever. <laughs> Ever since they came out with cameras, so this is the guy, huh? Memon. I don't know. Not very tough looking. I like the, the lead singer from Bush better. At least he's got a solid. It's true. Solid head. He looks kind of like uh, Voldemort, but all right. They call me Whole Head. <laughs> All right, didn't see that coming. He looked a lot like that woman from behind. Try yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, reach for the gun again. The one you should have thrown away. Or you could at least have like a holy knife or. A Wii mode attachment so you never drop your shotgun. Oh, look at that. You just did it. You cured every problem ever. <laughs> okay, you just tie it to your wrist. And then there's no getting it away. All right, I like that. Is the demon helping him? I like how people are like, no. or maybe just a rifle strap, like a soldier. Like, no, 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 Wii mode, Wii mode. <laughs> right? You're missing out, fellas. You don't even know. I can't believe that worked. I didn't even have a mirror. At least three feet. Oh, shit. Ain't Catholic no more, huh? Abort this baby. Ah, stab, stab, stab. Holy knife. 
Uh, feel bad for the stuntman when that part went wrong. The kicking between the legs like that. There's no way <laughs> they, the nuts. Yeah, or need in the nuts, considering their placement still. Oof. Oh god. The last rights? Oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> She just vomit out the thing. Or shit it out. Because where did it go? Back to hell. And then he dies. I told you to wear your charm, you stupid piece of shit. See, first mission. And he's dead. Now he's dead. And he's dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> See you, boy. It's been real. Chaz Kramer. Dun, dun, dun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kameha. Meha. <laughs> right, what is, what is happening? Meha. So I like this twist, right? Where it's the angel that's trying to do it because it's sick of being on Earth. So it's like, let's get this going already. Start the rapture. I'm sick of this shit. I think you misremembered something. She still has her wings. She's got the dark wings. They're a little gray. Yeah. See, how great would it have been if it was just, like, bigger than him? Look like a, like a hot chick? Oh, I'm still super. This is, I love this so much. I do like the uh, androgyny in it. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Or even if it was a boy, it's, like, girl pretty. I like that, too. Yeah. I, basically, all the angel-like demons should have looked like Tilda Swift. Yes. In effect. Supermodel. Supermodel, but not like hot to a guy. Maybe like striking, you know? Because I don't think people refer to Tilda Swinton as like sexy. Exactly. I don't know. I bet she's got a banging body. That's that's an aside. Because they they pat it out, you know. What does it say on all her wristbands? I saw one of them says sorrow. I don't know. I was even looking. They're all like medical wristbands. Well, no, I know. But one of them said sorrow. All right, I'll look. You really see her age in her hands, huh? Try to cover them up. Her manish hands. <laughs> right. Just old, a aged hands. Flick her hands. That's why Gwen Stefani always walks around in gloves. Yeah, um, <laughs> two fucking elbow-length gloves everywhere she goes. Uh, what are you doing to me? Giving him a blowjob. <laughs> right, that's not what I meant. <laughs> See how many shoes are in there? Shoes are indestructible. Basically. The only thing that survives airplane crashes. 9-11. It's just shoes everywhere. 
Which was an inside job, by the way. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> you know, what temperature steel melts Get all edge lord again. I mean, I'm it, not... it happened to come up organically. It was a joke. It actually wasn't. We've been drinking all day. Give us a break. <laughs> this is the first 9 11 talk today. <laughs> you guys remember that trillion dollar hair that went missing, a 910? Why'd that other building fall down? Tell me that. The plane didn't even hit it. Well, how does that make sense? Building seven. Over yeah. 120 victims. Dead inside somehow. All right. Well, apparently it fell when nobody was looking. No, that's when they said bring it down. Oh, okay. 120 people inside. They blew it up uh -oh. just for fun? Don't do it, buddy. You've got so much to live for. I was pretty young when 9-11 happened. <laughs> Very young. So a lot of it's pretty hazy for me. Two, three? Something like that? We were seven? Oh, I believe okay. that uh, I was born if I remember nine, correctly. So. Oh, you look so much younger. <laughs> right. Keanu cuts his left hand first because that's the evil hand. Which was a bit of trivia that I had on the screen, yes. I didn't read. I didn't even know you had that, that in really? trivia. No, absolutely. I saw it on your screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so left left hands are evil hands? <laughs> it's probably like some medieval bullshit because, you know, left-handed people. Nobody told me that. Well, yeah, because we didn't want to... <laughs> you know how hard it is being left-handed. Well, you literally spin the paper as you write that. And that in your club foot. Well, hey, <laughs> I had an accident when I was a kid. I keep telling you. I can't. So help God it. doesn't come to save him. Why would he? Satan comes to save him. It, oh, commentary. Oh, I'm no. just saying he does. All right. Because Satan can't comes to collect his soul in by person. himself. I remember that. Yeah, then God makes it so heavy he can't take it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makes it what? So heavy he can't take it. That's not what happens. But you should bet. I think that what happens is because he gave his life to save another. Yeah, he sacrifices his soul. Yeah, to save the sister. And so soul. then, then he God can't gave his soul, soul back. And he gave him a second chance. By whose rules? That seems like you're pulling back awfully far. Right? You're just cutting. You're not stabbing. It's for dramatic effect. It's theatrical, is what that term is called. She's really taking that like a champ. All right, here we go. Arguably, best devil ever. I'm going to still go with Legend. I like mm. the darkness in that. I don't know. He does a damn good classic job in this. Devil. Huh, I don't remember it quite looking like this. I thought he had weird tattoos and was dressed in black and stuff. He's a sharp dresser. He is a sharp dresser. I like he can just materialize a chair. I mean, it's not that impressive, but it's still nice. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he about to light up a cigarette? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cut the left side of my hand. My left hand. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> We're gonna count it. Oh, he did it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually lit it. <coughs> That was pretty funny. Mamu. Touch up the shit. <laughs> Wipe the shit off its feet onto him.
Has he already conned the devil once? He's not going anywhere. All right, that's fair. <laughs> what the? He's creepy. It forms, it forms like a crown for a second, if, some, if I remember right. Yep, there it is. Give it a minute. It might do it more. It, it, it's, it's fucking IMDb trivia. It could have been accidental, but I still like the idea. It looked like a, cr a clown. A clown? a clown of broken glass. A clown of glass. <laughs> a beautiful clown. Adorned his brow. See, and there should be like a huge bulge in her pants. <laughs> huge. be all about it. Yeah, right? At least a foot. Oh, and this interaction. This is great. Ah, my wings! My motherfucking wings! <laughs> so, does she just have stumps now? I actually, I actually forgot. Sounds about right. That's not a lot of blood. <laughs> well, you want to keep that R rating. <laughs> She'll be, uh, she's already been buried. <laughs> she's already been buried non Catholics. <laughs> yeah, six feet underground. It's a random cemetery in the country. Good luck. <laughs> getting out, good luck getting out to Isabella. <laughs> Come on, that's pretty good. You like his little face? No, I like the, the like lean back and he's like, all right, it's done. Just that quickly. <laughs> I like that just dead weight, all right. Because he sacrificed himself for the girl. Oh, I guess hand stopped. Armageddon? Yeah, Armageddon. He, uh, so now his mule near Thor's hammer can't be lifted. <laughs> Not worthy. Mule near? Mule near. I thought you said mule near. <laughs> I was like, okay. All right. It sounds way better than mule near. Meow meow. meow. Uh, good old cat Denning. <laughs> I like this part where the devil's like no you don't yeah where the devil's like no I'm going to give you a chance to yeah. ruin it again
<laughs> As he's going to heaven. That's pretty hardcore. Well, see, this is probably why he doesn't get to go. If he wouldn't have flipped him off, God might have been like, all right. Keep in mind, Roger Ebert didn't like this. <laughs> I don't understand Roger Ebert. It's all the weird penetration stuff. Roger Ebert was a hack. Anyone could be a fucking movie reviewer. Uh, well, we do it every day. His time every and, day. Well, maybe not every day, but his time and place. Uh, he really was able to take advantage of that, like. The very concept of a broadcasted movie review. Um, they were Roger and Ebert were from two rival newspapers in one of the biggest cities in America. Cisco and Ebert. Oh, I said Cisco. I said Roger and Ebert. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did Cisco earlier Ebert. too. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's and funny. it wasn't until you said that I was like, yeah, I don't think that's. Funny. Wait a minute! <laughs> said it right when I said it. Right, it, was, it, it was like Chicago Sun Times, the Chicago Tribune, and they had like conflicting movie movie reviews. And that was like a driving force to try and sell newspapers. <laughs> it was the same reason we saw uh, Bozo the Clown. It was part of the, the TBS network or something like it. It was a Chicago-based broadcasting company. Turner right. Broadcasting. So oh, that's true. We do have Chicago TV out here. I remember they came out with Chicago Station. It's still around. Yeah. It's like a broadcast, but a Chicago <laughs> for some reason. You know, like a UPN kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. CBS? No, it's specifically a different one than ABC, NBC, CBS. And it's Fox, like, you remember how bad TV NBA. used to be? Imagine just people talking to you about, you know, Ooh. talking about a movie and say, you know, how much we like that. Yeah. And there was nothing Mystery else Science like Theater. <laughs> oh, all Which is, we're directly inspired oh. what we're doing. She's yeah. got nubs. Yep. <laughs> ow, ow. Maybe not human. I'm just going to take this. I'm saying I want to see you naked. I'm really curious what you got going on down there. Hey, Elliot. <laughs> Still got that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's no way to get rid of it. But what, like, what, she's not making a sacrifice. She's she probably just, just thinks that she's good enough to go to heaven. Well, I think, I think if you're, imagine what that would feel like. <laughs> this is so great. Oh, and she likes it. She likes it. She's going to be a sadist or a masochist. <laughs> Masochist. Whatever the one is that likes to take the pain. I don't know about those pains. Is she being genuine? I hope so. Like, I don't know. She literally is kind of a little crazy, but she's good intended crazy. <laughs> when she crawls back in the water. It's it probably might, burnt up. It might, yeah, it might feel good on the wings. Oh, the nubs. I saved your sister's soul. Now you have to put out. <laughs> she was about God to kiss him. So. When you yeah, pulled the spear out of the ground. Alright. I like how we took it. That's probably really up to demon slaying game. Oh, yeah. Spear of Christ. <laughs> right? Spear of Longinius. Spear of Destiny. It's a spear from a Neon Genesis Evangelion, by the way. That's how you kill angels, huh? Yeah. What, he gave it to the girl? I thought she cut herself. It's surprisingly sharp. So... If you licked it, would you get, like... You would hope so. I mean, you would have to try. Be immortal? I would definitely try it. I'd, I'd go, like... Eh, Just hold it and gives you superpowers. I'd poke my tongue with it. I don't know if I'd stab myself with it. Why not? Because if it could kill Jesus, you're probably not going to do too well. But the blood of Christ. I mean, like I said, I'd probably lick it. I don't know if I'd cut myself. You've got to stick it before you lick it. No, I don't think so. I think, I think that's correct. Well... 
I don't know, maybe cut your tongue off or something. It's super sharp. It's sharp enough to kill God. You don't want to fuck around with something like that. So I'm already conceding the point putting my tongue on it. I don't know about cut myself. I would poke myself with it. Just, Just a little, little bit. bit? Yeah. Just a little. But that's probably what the guy thought he was doing to Jesus. And look at what happened there. Now you rub a meatball on it so some of the blood gets on the meatball. All right. Okay, meatball. that's a far more delicious way of doing it. No, I just straight fucking tongue the hell out of it. Oh. And already. Let's stab the tongue. Damn. Uh, first tips on bathroom. Okay. The guy doing the bathroom dance here. Shit. Well, I mean, how much time could possibly be left? <laughs> 20 minutes? No, it's only seven minutes. I was just so a lot of that's credits. Well, yeah. I mean, if Dan you gotta take a piss, just go take a piss. <laughs> Dan doesn't have his no, glasses I on. No, I want to wait. Once the credits start, I'll go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, oh, nice. Six Thank minutes you. of credits. Is it time for that other song? Wow. I think this is a. I think this is a song by uh, Bush. Since it had Gavin Newsom in it. <laughs> okay, so we counted 12 for sure, with a possibly 13th must yeah. have happened when we weren't paying attention for that 20 minutes or so. The second act, we'll call it. No, this isn't the song I thought it was. There's that DC Comics again. DC Comic, Comic. Detective, Detective Comics, Comics. 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 Yeah. So it's got to just be some division of. All right. Um, Jakey. All right. Favorite part? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say all that down shirt stuff after he drowned her. Okay. I think we got some nip there. I'm going to count it. Okay. What are you doing? Favorite part? Oh, fucking okay. Pima Story error. Okay, the Gabriel. Uh, I don't appreciate uh Not Gabriel. Huh? The Lucifer. Devil. Lucifer. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Oh, Lucifer. maybe he's the best Lucifer and we'll go the other guy's the best devil. <laughs> but whatever. Um I like the, the suit and the presence of the, the big red hair uh red horde devil from the legend mm -hmm. with Tim Curry. But just like the greasy foot like if you're gonna yeah, present was, someone yeah. As a human being, but also the devil, I think that was as good as you might be able to Okay. Right. Okay. I actually really enjoyed uh, Digimon Hanzu's part, the witch doctor. All right. And also the devil. I feel like those were the strongest characters of it. I just like that this he's a smooth fucking witch doctor in New York. Like, how'd that happen? Or L.A. or wherever the fuck they are. That looked a lot more like New York than L.A. But there was uh, empty streets, which I don't think no, you ever had to be L.A. Because the guy, what, walked from Mexico to New York? Oh, shit. Maybe he's uh, Puerto Rican. <laughs> so he's just really quick? <laughs> Is that what you're getting at? Great swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to pick two favorite parts? It was just fun now, I think. I like it. Hmm. I guess it's hard to pick just one. Sometimes. Other times you have to search. <laughs> Sometimes you have to really try. You have to search for a favorite part, let alone a second favorite part. I like the Gabriel. I would have changed it a little bit, like I said, just made it taller and gave it some bulge. Uh, yeah, uh, I really like Gabriel. Also, no changes. I would have been fine with them being even maybe a little more feminine. All right. Because I like that. That I well, like I, that. I, I, I trade... Feminine top for girl bottom, so <laughs> like right. they look you like, but then make that over all the angels. So it's all a bunch of girls wearing boys' underwears with like uh, socks tucked in and yeah. then like titties. What did you say? Socks tucked in because they're girls. Yeah, that's a uh, Monsters Regiment reference. You be from the socks because you got to have the bulge. So they like when girls are pretending to be boys, they like roll, put a rolled up sock. In their pants. All right. And that's like the bulge. You don't remember that movie where the, the, the actress, or the, the, it's like a, someone trying to write for a newspaper, pretends to be a, a girl, and that's how she does it? A, a girl pretends to be Just a one of the guys. I do, just one of the guys. Yes. Okay. I do remember that. That was an awful movie. I enjoyed it because of. That's like funny. A, a, top a scene tiny at the end. bit of nudity. Oh yeah, she has a top scene at the end. It's like 
one of the best topless scenes. That should have been the best topless scene, but because it was like a weird trans thing, a lot of people <laughs> kind of like avoided it. They're like, well, it's the weirdest bummer. Yeah. It was a simpler time. It was a simpler time. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, I've been able to piece it together. I'm just saying I've never heard yeah. of the movie. I don't even remember the, the, the gal's name, but she was cute in that movie. It, she wasn't a very good actress. I don't think she did very much. You could literally... I guess. Well, well, just one of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> <That's everything. laughs> We're getting pretty far off the path here. Anyhow. Let's just stay focused. Jesus Christ. That's Sorry. We're doing it. All right. Rated R, no nudity. I don't know how I feel about that. PG-13 with a lot of nudity. It was a simpler time. From 1985. No, mm -hmm. she was hot. Joyce Heisner. Heisner. Joyce not. No shots of her now, huh? I wouldn't kick her out of bed. Well, because she'd be like 60 now. Oh, okay, I'd kick her out of bed. No, she's like a grandma. Give her a break. Turn off safe search. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the part I remember. <laughs> PG-13. <laughs> you can show this in a grade school. That's, what, <laughs> that's where the... Not middle school. That's why all the lady boy things kind of intrigue me. I think it's because of this movie. This is just, <laughs> I hope this doesn't awaken anything. It right? awoken something. Trace her in there. It's like, you ruined a generation. You know what I didn't see What's that? was no Spiders animals were harmed. were harmed in the making of. They harmed at least one spider. Oh, they probably counted on the blue smoke on it. We killed 50. Oh, whoa, I don't remember this. After credits and headphones. Damn. Oh, wow. I've been listening the whole time. I, it was not. You died oh. on your first job. You did not do that good. I really don't remember this. He was his armorer and a uh, coat. Prayer. All right, and drove him around some. Yeah. When he was drunk, it shit because he was an alcoholic. If he didn't pick that up. The kid? No. Oh, that'd be great. That's the kid. Uh oh. Not the kid. Johnny. No. He's drinking Jack or uh, whiskey. Whiskey a lot. Excuse me. So Shyler moves as an angel. See? Boom! Second one. I told you you could be in it. That's not how that works. <laughs> what do you mean that's not how it works? That's <laughs> pop culture Christianity. You oh, okay. die and become an angel. And then come back. All right. I kind of feel like that would be something I would do. Yeah. yeah I mean, that would be a better religion than actually they think <laughs> is their religion. Sure. It would be fun. Good night, folks. Good night. Good night.